big time. You cannot argue Word to your mother. Stay on the streets. Here we go. And we're here in the alley, right outside of Studio 13. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's a wonderful place. But uh, we're actually talking to some folks who are downstairs at the Iowa City Yacht Club watching High and Lonesome. Why don't you say hello to the folks at home, tell us who you are, and what do you think of the show so far this evening? Hi, we're Chris and Stephanie Jeffrey, uh, old fans and friends of High and Lonesome. So oh, yeah. we're kind of enjoying the Wayback Machine tonight. That's right. <laughs> You guys then, you say you're old fans and friends, uh, you've been following them for a while. It's, this is a band that I know Dave Zollo, he's a wonderful guy, he's been on our show a number of times. His career goes back just about 20 years, but the, this was a band that kind of were one of his first incarnations, but it's taken some time off. But when was it that you saw them last? Well, they've had a couple reunion shows since Thanksgiving, but that had been the first time we'd seen them in 15, 16 yeah. years. Yeah, yeah. And Shortly then... after we got married. So. Yep. In uh, the early 90s, they played very regularly in one of the big bands here in Iowa City, and it's so wonderful to see them together again. Well, I've never seen uh, this incarnation. I've seen Dave uh, Zolo play solo a number of times. I've seen him with uh, the Body Electric, uh, but this is something really special. I was actually talking to him last week about it, and I says, well, how many of these guys are still active musicians? And he says, well, only one. One guy's, you know, an accountant, and one guy's a dad, and one guy's this and that. So it's kind of, it's, it really is that, like, Blues Brothers, I said, like, we're putting the band back together, you know? So how is it to see somebody that uh, you maybe hadn't seen in a while, whether you li clearly you like him, but to see him come back after this time, it must be really, really special. And, you know, for a band that was one of the best at its time, they uh, they are right back on top. They, they they picked it right up where they left off. So there's you just they just started right away where they were. There's no uh, no rust, no uh, icky joints. They just right back to the beginning. Nothing to uh, nothing to to work off. They it's, they went right back into it. it's like old friends meeting again and just having a wonderful time. Look at it. Oh. <laughs> And we're about to uh, have Anna Jo here, beautiful young lady, knock on the door of the bus for this rapper named Sam Adams from apparently Boston. I've heard he's a short guy. And uh, apparently uh, a lot of young college kids like this guy. Well, I have no idea who he is. Do you know who he is? So because she's... So, so I knock on the door. And I play this cutesy little girl. Right yeah, and then, and then we try to come in with you. And then, <laughs> then, then they're going to say, no, 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 no. So what do I say Just, when they knock, when they answer the door? They're like, hey, can I <laughs> say hi? To, I'm here to see Sam Adams. <laughs> yeah, no, no, here's what you say. Can I get me some Sam Adams? No. <laughs> yeah, Adam. Back of the bus, smoking pot. Yeah, Sam Adams right now is smoking pot with a bunch of 19 year olds. I am a real bona fide jazz musician, and I'm here to say that Mission Creek has some great bands, and they've done a fantastic job with all the clubs and great musicians, and it's a great time. Wish they did it more than once a year. Peace. I happen to have the pleasure to know Brandon Ross. Brandon, good evening. Tell us who you are out to see this evening. Well, I, uh, I was out to see the Bib Overalls tonight. You know, the B.O.s, they're probably one of the bands with the worst hygiene in, uh, in rock and roll history. They were opening for Liz Fair over at Wild Bill's, and I really enjoyed that. Uh, Liz is actually losing a little ground now that she's getting older, but uh, it was still fun to see her. I also enjoyed uh, watching people on the street, which was also a big event for me. Other than that, I've been, uh, I've been to three or four clubs uh, in town, and I can't really remember a lot of the names, but it was very entertaining. This is, the, without any exception, the first man on the street interview we've had where I've never had to worry about the person having an ability to extemporaneously speak. Brandon, thank you so much for that. And we're here outside of the Yacht Club on Lynn Street where High and Lonesome's playing inside and we're talking with somebody who's here to see them. Tell us who you are and who you are here to see this evening. Well, my name's Lisa and I was here to see Shame Train and now High and Lonesome is playing and I've had a really great time because this is the first time I've ever seen Dave Zolo play. This is my Mission Creek confessional right here, right now. Never seen Dave Zolo ever. 
This also might be one of the first shows of the quint dozen shows that we've seen that I see people dancing. And oddly enough, it's an older crowd. Is that your experience as well? Have you seen a lot of shows here? Um, I've seen a lot of shows, of, yeah, at the Yacht Club, but not this kind of crowd, to be honest. And I like it. I feel like I'm the youngest one here, and I get to bring a little light in life to the scene, and it's really great. <laughs> everybody else here is on hospice with a dialysis bag. You know, uh, tonight specifically, I have been down at the warehouse, and Mission Beat is happening there, and there's some really great DJs. There's going to be DJs until 6 in the morning. Six in the morning, that's about how late we've been up, like, filming and editing film over the course of the last few days. Just go to the warehouse and edit at the warehouse because it's going to be really lively. You'll be able to stay awake and you'll be completely engaged. If we stayed awake any more than we are now, I think we'd become the s subject of some sort of University of Iowa study about, like, vampiric filmmakers. But there's still Saturday, Sunday, and Monday of the fest. Uh, do you have any plans to see any shows over the next few days? I do, I do. Um, Saturday, there's some really great things happening during the day, free stuff, which um, you know, I'm obligated to go to because I don't have a lot of money. I do, I do radio show down at Public Space One with Little Village Live and it's affiliated with the Little Village magazine in town. It's a great, great thing that happens on Wednesdays at 5 o'clock and it's open to the public so everyone can come down and enjoy a free rock show at five o'clock in the afternoon on wednesdays because nothing speaks of rock and roll like wednesdays at five o'clock